Let's see. September 26th. I am uncertain as to how I will secure funds to pay my rent. I face the reality of an eviction come the end of the month. Oh boy, I know that feeling. I have no job prospects and thus the situation remains grim. With, With no, no kin nearby, I shall be turned to the street. Forced to live among the rabble like a beggar. I fear for my fate. 27th of September. An exciting discovery. While wandering the streets looking for work today, I came across a curious new hole inside the old Miskatonic Tunnel. I ventured inside and found a network of tunnels inside of it. It looked to be completely abandoned despite having working electricity and plumbing. I simply must investigate this further. 28th of September. I spent most of my day exploring these tunnels. I still have no clue as to the extent of their size or what their purpose is. My best estimate is that they were an unfinished fallout shelter that has since seen some improvements. They are completely abandoned, hold for the occasional rat. I also found a sizable store of canned goods that will reduce my living expenses considerably over the next few weeks, if not months. I even found what appears to be a living quarters, complete with bedding and a work table. For someone in such dire need of finances as myself, these tunnels are becoming most attractive. Twenty-ninth of September. My time is waning. In two days the rent will be due and I shall be tossed out like an unwanted infant. I think my path is clear. With no signs of life at the Miskatonic Tunnel, I shall commence moving all my possessions there tomorrow before my landlord arrives expecting his ransom. Come October morning, I shall be nothing more than a ghost to him. Open the door! It's your landlord! 30th of September. Today has been a weary day, moving all my belongings. But I have finally settled in. I shall write more when I regain my strength. 2nd of October. I must say I feel like a bit of a mole living in this subterranean abode, but it has given me far more comfort than any dwellings above the surface ever did. Here I have ample space, privacy, and plenty of food to sustain me. It's the best move I've ever made. I've taken up residence in what was apparently a living quarters for whatever this place was. It has a curious design, as it looks to be an antechamber of sorts. On the opposite side of the entrance of the room, there is a very large steel door designed to handle heavy stresses. When I opened it, it connected to even more tunnels, except that these were simply dug out and completely unlit. If time permits, I may explore these rear tunnels to see if they lead to anything. 4th of October. Perhaps all this time below ground is getting the better of me. I could have sworn I heard a most peculiar noise last night. An unusual howling, almost. I suspect it to be some sort of animal. But what exactly? I don't know. 5th of October. I awoke from my sleep to hear some sort of scratching sound on the steel door to my room. I opened it expecting to find a rat, but to my surprise there was nothing there. Is this place getting the better of my senses? 6th of October. There is most definitely something else down here. I was awoken in my sleep again, this time by a muffled pounding sound against the door. I was fearful of opening it, but did so cautiously. I cannot be certain, but I thought I saw the shadows of something run off. I think that... Damn it, there's that noise again!
October 7th. The interruptions to my sleep are becoming insufferable. I am going to explore the rear tunnels today to determine the source of the peculiar noises. I shall report on my findings as soon as I return.